We're back on the show, and it's our favorite segment of the show. It's the most popular combat sports-related game show worldwide, according to Guinness and every other poll that's out there that has conducted such a survey. I forget the name of it. Please remind me of those three words. The worldwide crowd embraces the Wheel of Fighting, and now we're gonna spin the wheel. It will land on a topic, and the three of us will discuss that topic. We do not know what it's gonna land on. This is as real as reality television gets. As real as it gets. I see a syringe on there. Where is Aldo? I give credit for the play on words there. Very clever. Uh, where is Aldo? I don't even know what this topic is about. He's gonna be fighting in three weeks, but he had a big issue this past week regarding his uh, particular drug testing and what went down in Brazil. Yeah, he, uh, he had them thrown out of Brazil. Is that what happened? <laughs> a guy showed up on behalf of Nevada and he did not have a working visa to be showing up in the gym. So the test that he submitted was discarded and then came back the next day. Yeah, this is gonna be one of those ones we're all gonna kind of forget about it. But when a guy comes from uh, Nevada and he says, we're going to need you to urinate in this cup, sir. Typically, you just urinate in the cup. You don't say, hang on, let me check your work permits. Wait a second. Somebody get to, uh, you know, uh, the government and see if this guy's done all the necessary paperwork. It smells a little dicey. It smells a little fishy. You ha the guy says, hey, listen, if I show up at your door and say pee in a cup, I'm not saying you got to pee in the cup. It's weird that I'm asking you. But if a guy from Nevada does it, just pee in the damn cup. However, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to say I think this is more on Nevada. Yeah, it, you I guys did. are literally in charge of my career where you're now throwing out two years suspensions. Yeah. And we have cases like Anderson Silva whose legacy are tarnished. And we're going to put it on the shoulders of guys who can't even get their working papers in order. Sorry, man. If I'm Jose Aldo and my career is on the line here that I'm just going to take a guy's word for yeah. it that's not even supposed to be there with legally then tough I think that's more on Nevada than Aldo I, I agree hundred percent I think Jose Aldo you've seen the things that he's been saying about UFC and about the Reebok deal he is one of the guys that is vocal and is critical in all of these scenarios so kudos to Jose Aldo because he doesn't want to be bullied and right now he's proving that you know I'm the man and it's it, the onus is on Nevada to get things straight and they didn't so I'm going to be play, play. If you're forcing me to play by the rules, you better play by those same rules. And you know what? There's a lot. The guy has a lot on his mind, you know. And that's something we forget about sometimes. When we're talking about drug tests. These guys have to concentrate on the fight. And I mean, on top of that, I mean, anything that goes wrong in it. In an era where we saw all of what went down with Kung Lee last summer, yep. I mean, this guy's looking towards the biggest money-earning night of his career in three yep. weeks. It's still dicey pee in the cup, man. <laughs> Paul, Let's roll the, the wheel. And see how dicey our next topic gets. Spin the wheel, not roll the wheel. This is a popular game show. The moons and Jupiter. It's kind of rolling if you equate this wheel to a tire. It is rolling. Cyborg, 135 pounds. That is the big question. Are those numbers she will ever see when she looks down on a particular scale? Right? Maybe. I just don't think it's necessary. I think, you know, like Ronda was, where before Ronda was a big star, she was just Ronda Rousey. Cyborg's the same type of thing. She's an attraction, she's a spectacle. You just have to bring her over. There doesn't have to be any type of championship. You just have matchups for Cyborg and you have her absolutely decimate her opponents. I mean, there's no guarantee of that. If she goes on a roll, you just do what they did with Anderson Silva and George St. Pierre. Oh, these guys are gonna fight, they're gonna fight. What happened? They never fought. It doesn't matter. You have to create the hype and you can, as long as Cyborg goes on this run, you can tease Ronda versus Cyborg, but there's no need for her to go to 135. Pounds. I don't agree and only because we've already talked about the fact this Jen Jacek looks to be legit. This fight tonight looks to be legit. There are some girls at 115 that look to be legit, but the division is not built yet. If we're going to take Cyborg and go, we're going to build a division around her, we're going to have to bring in some But don't build a division. Her. You don't have to build have a division around her. I don't know that there's enough good 145 pounders in the world to go in and, and make her fight. You want what the money is, is her fighting Ronda Rousey, Beauty and the Beast. That's rude. But her fighting Ronda Rousey, that's where the money is. And they, if they bring her in and don't make her make 135 first, she can get in there, get paid, and go, screw it, I'm never going to make 135. The money is Beauty and the Beast. See, I, I don't agree. I think Ronda Rousey is such a, a star. She transcends mixed martial arts right now. You can say that she's the biggest star in MMA. Some may say Connor's that guy. So with Ronda being the star, it doesn't matter who her, her opponent is. It can be random female. All right, John Ramdean and Robin Black, they are in different weight classes, but they get together every Wednesday night on Fight News Now. Tune in, 7 p.m. Eastern, only on Fight Network.